What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, as you can see, we are loaded to the brim with blue crab traps, which could only mean we're going blue crab fishing. We've got 15 traps. It's blowing 25 miles an hour. We can't go offshore, but we can go crabbing. called blue crab candy also known as snook candy too i think we got enough for the traps i do want to catch one more net full for some snook and jacks that's a good amount right there beautiful mullet the net you see me throwing is my 12 foot sardine net it's 28 pounds and 12 foot long so now that we got bait and we're back here where we want to start setting the traps, I've realized one of two things. There either ain't no crabs because I haven't seen a single other crab pot or there ain't nobody crabbing. I hope it's the latter. I hope just nobody's crabbing right now. It's been winter time, it's been cold. Normally crabbing is not good when the water temperatures are low, but right now they're warming back up quick. It's super hot. I think today it hit 90 degrees. We're gonna pull around this next bin and set a trap about every quarter mile and fingers crossed. But we're not gonna just depend on crabs. We got some shrimp from an earlier video. We're gonna buy some snow crab and we're gonna get some other stuff and cook an amazing meal on the boat the day after tomorrow when we pull these traps. But first I gotta show you how we're gonna set them. So my goal starting out was to get 45 of these so we can put three in each trap. We did that, we actually got 50. I'm gonna butterfly them. Didn't bring a cutting board, but that's okay. <laughs> if we were setting them for much longer than three days, two or three days, I would put more bait in there, but that's all we're setting them for. Always wanna make sure these gaps aren't too big in these traps. And you want them pointed up got to make sure everything's closed like that gap right there I don't like I need to sit here and make sure these crabs cannot get out have you showed them our boat how full of traps it is right now it's definitely cool but see that a crab could get out so you got to make sure it's super tight right there you can't get out of that the little things that you do at the beginning that'll make the rest go right. This boat is going to be destroyed by the end of this trip. By the end of the time when we're done pulling them, it's going to take a pressure cleaner. If you're wanting to get into doing some blue crab make sure wherever you're at whatever state whatever river you're in you're checking the regulations because they're all different they all have different rules Okay. All 
right guys i need you to leave a comment below right now if when you fish with your woman and you rig a rod does she automatically think that rod is your rod crystal beachy hello i'm busy i'm getting bit you're bit on my rod luke you ain't focused really well are you so obviously we put all the traps out. We just came back here. We're not far from Trappers Nelson's in this little cove. And there's typically some tarp in here. So we have some extra bait. We're going to fish for a little while. Oh my God. That's a big one, boy. A big one. Oh, got, him, got, him. got him. Just him. nice and real. Real, real, real. Oh. Big one. Oh, He's got a big one on, folks. He said, oh, nice and steady. Nice and steady. Don't horse him. Oh, my God. Gosh, he's a massive one. Nice and steady. Oh, my. Oh. Get him, Luke. Listen, you got to go steady now. Oh, oh my goodness, Luke. <laughs> Pick your rod tip up. Come here. You're doing a good Keep job. your rod Luke. tip up. Move that light out of his way, babe. Yeah. You can unscrew it right at the bottom. You got to go nice and easy nice on him. You'll steady. break nice him off. Steady. Oh, he's a big one. He is huge. He's bigger than you. I thought I was gonna get pulled in the water. Keep that rod bent. Don't let any slack get in the line. Oh! Oh! oh he's right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just oh, hold on, easy, hey. easy, easy. <laughs> easy, easy. You better hit steady. one, Billy. Look, you steady. gotta pick that rod up, Luke. Pick your rod up or he's gonna get in these trees. Come up front, he's coming up front. Come up, come up, come up quick, 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 quick. Nope, now he's going the other way. He's oh. right here. Keep your rod bent. Oh, he's oh, right there. here, Luke. Hold on to me. No. Oh. He's right come here. here. We can land him. Come here, fishy. Point your rod out here. Come yeah, here, easy, Luke. Easy, easy, easy. He's easy, nice easy. and frayed now. Oh. Easy, easy. down there with your fins. Oh, Smile for real, Luke. You just caught Smile, a giant Luke. fish. Smile big. That's good. <laughs> nice shot. Luke! He about got me tired before I got him tired. That's you got any last words you want to say to him? The silver king. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Luke, I was 38 years old before I caught one like that. I was 12. High five. High okay. five. Job, Luke. Crystal, I think you were more excited than Luke. That was insane. What you got, Crystal Beachy? Probably a dang catfish. It's a big one. If it is. Oh, it's a molar, I think. You got you a saltwater kitty cat. Oh, Y'all yeah. uh, catch all the big sport fish. I'll catch the junk fish. I mean, that's Luke here. You can get it all for me. Crystal, your back rod, your... Oh my god, on the top water. Oh, on the top water. All right, well, while we wait for the crabs to hopefully fill our pots, we never did catch any more fish. We're back at the house, and we're going to give you guys a garden update. If you follow along, you know about two months ago we planted a garden. We've got tomatoes, we've got squash, cucumbers, okra, and some lettuce and onions. What you got, though? Uh, this is some fresh basil that we just caught. I forgot that we um, caught? We cut it. <laughs> we cut it. I forgot about the basil. So I planted the basil hoping to prevent some bugs. And I planted them with my tomato plants or our tomato plants. This bush right here is a husky cherry red. This one is a super sweet and it's the biggest by far and has by far the most tomatoes on it. This one though is the first one to get a ripe tomato. And then these over here are lemon boy hybrid tomatoes. They're gonna be yellow. And we got Crystal's lettuce. What kind of lettuce is that? Um, I don't know what it's called. Just eating lettuce. Eating lettuce. Salad lettuce. But Crystal said that during the summer, lettuce isn't any good because it gets bitter. So we're probably gonna harvest this soon. Behind, I put some plants just to attract bugs. Over here, we got a very huge selection of green beans. <laughs> we got we two. We got two. That's not gonna make a meal, is it? No. I'm gonna pick them so they don't go bad, but we do have a bunch of balloons coming in. So we're gonna have more. Perfect. We got a big supper ahead of us tonight, folks. 
We can have one green bean apiece. Yeah, and then over here we have some squash. And I want you to see how big that squash is. And I'm going to show you a comparison right now. These squash were planted at the same exact time. The only difference is this is Home Depot potting soil. Look how small they are. Crystal said that there's some bugs and some ants and worms that are eating these up. I'm not sure why. There is nothing different between these and these. Except for these have some white splotches on the leaves and we're not sure what that's from. We have had some squash produced, but thus far it's rotted as soon as it's got to about the size to pick. But it's a work in progress. Right here we have some onions and some carrots starting to sprout. And the only thing bad about this is the carrots that are on the edge where the water doesn't pool aren't very big. The ones in the middle where the water seems to settle are starting to get pretty big. Now right over here is the most interesting thing to me. You see the sun? These tomato plants never see the sun. These are tomatoes that Crystal bought from the grocery store. I collected the seeds out of them. They're like a little cherry tomato. And I planted the seed and that wasn't but about three or four weeks ago and look how big they are. These are coconuts. If you've ever seen a coconut tree, that's a coconut tree right there. Do you want to try a piece of lettuce? This eating lettuce? I think you'll like it. Let's make a salad with it. It does have some bitterness to it though. Oh, come on. It has some bitterness to it, but it is good. Growing it ourselves, pretty much all organic too. Right over here is the saddest part of our garden. These are all cucumbers in the first three rows and then the back three rows are okra and the okra is not doing bad but should be doing a lot better the cucumbers are doing terrible and this is again home depot potting soil we keep it watered we fertilize it we've done everything we can do they're just not doing good so i guess in a gardening standpoint we're batting about 85 percent that's pretty good our first tomato can that's I an it? expensive tomato can i eat it yeah Tomato is my favorite food. That's good? Gabe, we grew a good tomato. Well, we're gonna have a bunch because that cherry tomato bush has probably a oh, hundred of them on it. And before long, we're gonna have to pick a big one and do fried green tomatoes. And last but not least, folks, my mulberry bush was doing terrible about two months ago. I cut it back, fertilized it, and started watering it every single day. And we are getting mulberries jake's trying to get one right now fun fact about a mulberry my buddy brody hatcher that was here last week turkey hunting said he hates them in missouri because the birds eat them and then they poop purple poop all over his truck and house and everything else here comes the moment of truth but i gotta admit to you guys when i was editing this video i saw that the very first trap i put out i didn't even close it and i was over there preaching you gotta close your trap so they don't get out there still could be a crab in here, but I highly doubt it. Good thing we got 14 more. Two hands. There you go. Oh, there you go. Pull it up nice and fast. It's going to be underneath the boat. A catfish! Shoot. See how I left the trap open, folks? That's no bueno. Well, that's a good catch. A catfish? Not a good catch. Luckily, the traps have only been in the water a couple days, so the bait's not too nasty. It's still stinky downwind still over here. Very stinky. Woo! Stanky! Feels heavy. Oh, this is not oh. looking good. Thanks. Not looking good, folks. Hey, right, one thing's for sure. We're cooking a good seafood lunch on this boat. Because I brought some stuff just in case. See it? Yep. Right here. Pull it up. You strong enough to do this or what? This one doesn't feel heavy at all. 
What do you think? I feel something in there. A catfish! Well, we might have to eat fried saltwater catfish for dinner. Okay. I will go with that. You'll eat that? Yeah. That's disgusting. Actually, you guys, if you follow along, you've seen that I've cooked saltwater catfish and they're actually really good. They're not bad at all. But at least we're keeping it consistent. We're three for zero. Oh, for three. Oh, for three. Now, two days ago when Luke caught that tarpon, I never did tell you what he caught it on. We used the same mullet that we put in these traps. He just hooked it right in the nose with a circle hook, about a three and a half foot, 40 pound test leader. That's what he was using for bait. Can you do the crab dance or something, please? I really want blue crabs. <laughs> I love blue crab. I'm ready to go to Delaware and do it with your cousins. I mean, for real, we got two catfish that time. Holy macaroni. Oh, the bait's gone in this trout. Jake, come on, we got five seconds. Give me a crab dance. What is this waving what the arms that? deal? Crabs have crabs, pinchers. Crabs wave their arms. No, there you go, there you go. Wind's blowing me over the trap. This one doesn't feel like a catfish. Oh, this one's heavy. Ugh. You think it's got 40 crabs in it? And I have some crabos. Oh, we got crabs. We, we got, got crabs. crabs. We got a crab and it's a big one. Crab. It just took a crab dance, Luke. All right, while you're messing with that trap, I'm gonna pull up to the next one. That's a big That's one. That's a good sign. See folks, all you gotta do is a crab dance every now and then. I learned that back in the day when I watched Deadliest Catch. Hey, when they were having a bad trip, they'd make somebody do the crab dance. A few moments later. Got him. <laughs> you got, ow, God, the crab just bit my foot. You guys, sorry for the mad chaos. We just pulled up here and there's jacks busting everywhere and I was trying to film them and the crab, the only crab we got just bit me on my foot. Jake, how'd you lose him? He spit it. Oh, man. He got bit. Luke, I got bit bad. That crab just got me really good. That's the same bait that Luke caught the tarpon on, same style bait. Luke's going up front to fish too. Make long cast, Luke. Don't you dare, you little crab. That did not feel good. Oh, joker. Oh, oh. There you go. How'd you, how did he spit the hook, Jake? I don't know. He, he was just ripping, dragging, and then my popper blowed it off. Ah, so, so many people don't realize with YouTube, unless you have a camera running 24 seven, it's so hard to catch those moments. Right there was a perfect example. I was trying to get the camera going. Jake just had the fish on because they don't wait for me to get the camera going. Got bit by a crab and we lost the fish all in about three seconds. No fighting over the traps, boys. No fighting over the traps. Oh, did we get one? Oh, Nothing. man. Looks oh. just good luck, I guess. That stinks. That's the nicest thing you've ever said about Lake. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about Dump it in the water. We forgot about the crab dance. That is exactly right. That's why we didn't catch one. You forgot about the crab dance. I gotta do it. Let's do it. Break it down. Hit me, Jack. Does it 
feel heavy? Yep, very heavy. Sea crab. Oh. oh yeah! Heck yeah! Two crabs. Three, Three crabs. Oh god! Three crabs. Three crabs. Four crabs. Oh, that was a good one. Good. All right, get them in the basket. That was a five. We got to turn. Dance. Dang! One, two, the three, four, work. five. And a catfish. Don't let that catfish sick you. If you notice, Luke crab danced for like two minutes before that pot. Boom! Luke, I say you just crab danced the entire trip. Yeah, I just tried. That catfish is going to be a pain to get out. I got tongs. Boom. He's too little. That's a little female. All the crabs that we caught are females thus far. Even, yep, they all, no, that's a male. That's a male. And that's a female. Ow, let go. Gotcha. Let's see what we got here. I think old dad needs to pull one. You know what? I didn't do the crab dance. Well, I did. I know, but I pulled it. Whoever pulls it, someone has got to do the crab dance. Man, that mullet after just three days stinks. It's bad. Yeah. Son, you're getting that crab dance down pat. Good thing you're doing that because we got another trap right here on the shallow side of the boat. Big old bit. I'm telling you, there's something about that crab dance. That's a big. Oh, I thought that was another crab. That was the bait. How ready are you to eat some seafood? Ready. Oh, so <laughs> ready. I brought extra butter, folks. Oh, Dad, My you... buddy Tug Trash can pick them up in a hurry. Would Say... you stick your finger in the crusher claw of that big one for $1,000? I'd stick my whole hand in there, son. But the crusher. No questions asked. All right, I need all you kids that are watching right now to do me a huge favor. Get up off the couch and give me your best crab dance right now. Do it for me. Look, give me your best crab dance right now, quick. That's like a little mini crab. We need big crabs. Give me your big crab dance. There you go. Now leave a comment below if you're an adult and you just got up and did the crab dance for us. If you did, it's much appreciated. This one's heavy. How heavy? Very heavy. Very? I think we got about 45 of these in this trap. You got it? Jump under the boat a little bit. I'm like pulling the tarp. Here, I'll grab that buoy. Grab that buoy. Come on, let's pull it out. Is it heavy? A little female. Oh, I knew. Two little females. Man, uh, shoot. Cut. Like that's a pathetic crab dance Whoa, right there. That's like a crab you? that's my that's like hibernating. Hibernating. Crabs hibernating? Yeah, during the winter. So we basically have uh -huh. That's a big old biggin. We just passed a tree full of curlews that were hanging on for dear life in this wind. Pull fast. Oh, they get hung up underneath the boat. One little old female. She's big enough to eat though. We're taking her home with us. Got 
two crabs. Two crabs. Two little females. We're gonna keep that one but turn the other one loose. Now the reason I just put the power poles down, I need to stack and tie all these traps up. Just like you used to see on Deadliest Catch because when we come around this corner and get out in the open water, the wind might blow all these traps right off the boat. If they saw what I did right here on the Northwestern, Sig Hansen, he'd hire me because my stack ain't going nowhere. One of the most annoying things you used to watch on the Deadliest Catch is when the storm was coming, they were gonna get ice one of the green wings, green, not green wings. Green, green, green hands. hands. See? Green horns. Okay, you're a green horn. Green horns used to not tie down the stack very good and the boat would sink and they'd all die. But Blue Gabe tied it down good. And those are three deep right there. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just, Sig Hansen, if you want to hire me, I'm too old. Just call somebody else. How would you do in that cold weather? Call somebody else. <laughs> We've moved somewhere much prettier and much more out of the wind. Whoa, that's hot. In the hole. We're gonna lightly boil these crabs before we finish it off. I wanna do it the way I've been daydreaming about while I was laying in bed last night. And I think it's gonna work good. We're gonna boil them for about two minutes and then we're gonna clean them and then we're gonna put them back in there with a bunch of other ingredients. This pot right here is not your average pot. It will cook crabs or anything you wanna cook in it twice as fast as anything else. Y'all see that lighthouse right there? I've been looking at that lighthouse since I was born. I think it was lit in like 1892 and only went out one time when they switched from like a propane or something over to electric. That's the Jupiter Lighthouse. I just walked up the hill to show it to you. Crystal's got her a fishing pole. Jake's getting him one. I think Luke has a hand line. Crab should be done in just a minute. That pot is made by can cooker and so is the little burner i take it with me almost everywhere i go it's super easy and convenient now i know you saw me tie down those traps well i didn't use my head fully because all the cooking gear was in that hatch so we had to take them all out and get the thumbnail which is what y'all clicked on i think they're done folks let me see oh yeah i can do it come on Jay. come on Jay. show them. Whoa. Oh yeah. Look how red and delicious they look. Now I'm gonna take some of this salt water, about, I don't know, about a half of this can, put it right back on there, and pray we have enough gas. Once it gets boiling, I'm gonna add all the ingredients. In the meantime, I'm gonna take these crabs and I'm gonna pop the shells out, just like that, clean the gills out, and get them ready to go back in. The best part. See what? Gills are the best part. The gills? No, the gills will get you sick, Goofbo. I ordered a whole one at Pinchers and I gobbled down all of them. Luke just said that the gills are the best part. It's the most. You know what the best part is, Luke? Cooking them right here in this clean salt water. Yeah. It's not very clean. It's kind of hard. It's cleaner than that river water. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to eat gills. The gills will actually get you sick. Some of these crabs are small, but we didn't catch a bunch and we need every one we can get. Look at that. Some people oh. would drink that. Oh. Not me. So I added broccoli, onions, and corn, half a thing of Old Bay. Now I'm adding a shrimp that we got from homegrown shrimp. You guys, that video was so fun to make. If you didn't watch my shrimp farming video, you wanna watch it. Now I'm putting the medium rare crabs back in just to finish them off. My kids and Crystal are starving. When Jake was cleaning them, I think that's the first time he's ever cleaned crabs. He said they don't smell very good to start out with. 
just got to be tough, Jake. Probably would only need about two more minutes at this point. Not very long at all. If you were wondering, that lid is very hot. Oh, I just put way, way... Look behind you, Gabe. Too much butter in there. Look behind you. What up, G? You guys, I just used this awesome straining lid. Cam cooker sells that as well. I strained off all the liquids. I added some butter and some oil old bay. Just mixing it all back. If this falls in the water, we'll all cry. No crab left behind. Oh my goodness. I'm Get scared. that sausage. No shrimp. Ooh, we almost. Is that it? No. No fowls, folks. No fowls. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hey, folks. That's what I'm talking about. A feast fit for kings. There's peelings on that shrimp goofball. It's hot. It look good or what? Yes, it looks good. Folks, come out here and do this. Wherever you live, if you're within driving distance of some salt water, I guarantee you there's crabs. Go catch some of your kids, your family, your friends, whoever, and go have you a fun day because there ain't nothing better than a fresh crab. Ooh, look at that. Dip my shrimp in this butter. Do I even need to say anything? So good. Them crabs are perfectly cooked. Added some broccoli. Justin in Louisiana taught me that trick and it is good. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a little bird right the broccoli sucks up all the juices and the butter. Woo! You know what we didn't bring though, babe? What? Some crackers to break these shells. We have four. Brad Yeoman would say, just use your teeth. That crab's fresh right there, folks. Wherever you're at in the world watching this, if you've never done anything like this, I don't care where you live. There's somewhere near you that you can go crawl fishing, you can go fishing, you can go do something even if you gotta hijack one of your neighbor's chickens and go have a cookout with it, do it because it's so much fun. And it also teaches the kids how to live off the land a little bit. Huh? Luke, are you eating it or what? All right, folks, we're gonna sit here, enjoy each other's company a little bit because this video has been a little bit stressful with all the wind that we've been dealing with. Now comes the best part, and that's the eating. Woo! That's so good. We'll catch y'all in the next one.